move that to next week. So may I invite now uh, Sister Clarice to the recognition and for our yeah and then after that um, Sister Martina will lead us for our closing remarks and she will just utter a prayer of thanksgiving and closing song our oh, closing song and prayer of thanksgiving so on behalf of the PICAYM um, department we would like to um, praise God for the ministry of um, the young people who are trained to serve God who are trained to be ambassadors and thank you all for all you are all of you that are here um, this may be just a paper but what is much more greater is the reward that we are about to, to receive that will be given by God. So let me read the citation. Adventist University of the Philippines, Philippine International Church, Adventist Youth Ministry, Certificate of Appreciation is presented to uh, So uh, first, um, Andel Lee Jolie for willingly sharing his talent in serving as music coordinator during the week of prayer, <laughs> spiritual emphasis of the university for the second semester of academic year 2021-2022 with the theme, Ambassadors, Characters in Mission and Service, conducted on March 14 to 19, 2022. His dedication and perseverance have greatly contributed in making this event a true blessing to all. Signed by, signed by Glenmar M. Delana, President of AYM, and Pastor Kenneth Patilan, Associate Pastor. So, kuya. Thank you so much, Po. <laughs> And another certificate of appreciation is presented to um, Jen Im Tabokl. Sorry, di ko alam pa ano magpranse. Jean M Tabuklin as program coordinator. Wala siya. Another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister Isabel L. Mercado as our promotion co coordinator. <laughs> Another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister Leslie e. May Mabunga as our finance coordinator. <laughs> Ayun. Ikot <laughs> Thank you, Sister Leslie. Mayaman yan. <laughs> Another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister Aprilin Phyllis as our stage co decoration coordinator. So they are the one who decorated our stage. And thank you for being artistic. Tama ba? Thank you so much. So another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister Martina Nicole Val Valencia as our overall coordinator. Ayan. Thank you, Sister. Gusto mo mag speech? After, after, sige. <laughs> Um, another certificate of appreciation is presented to Brother Juan Oliver Awa for our, as our prayer coordinator. <laughs> and daming supporters ni Kuya. Tayo ka daw, Kuya. <laughs> so, um, um, another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister Kisha Faye Magdadaro as our speaker's care coordinator. <laughs> Thank you, Ate. Thank you. 
um, okay lang pa na walang picture-picture. Nag-record naman si ano, Sir Win. So, um, the last but not the least is um, another certificate of appreciation is presented to Sister K. Genterial as our layout coordinator. So, she was the one who designed the ambassador, right? You know, yung logo and yung Oh, yung <laughs> inaksyon ni Kuya, ano? So, wala dito si sister. Anong next? Ah, speech ni ate. <laughs> Kala ko si Pastor Kenneth na kasi nandito na siya. Okay. Um, in behalf of the Adventist Youth Ministries, I would like to thank everyone, participant and viewers, or anyone who has, who has attended the week of prayer. Um, it is unfortunate that it might be the last week of prayer under the AYM, but we still hope and pray that for the next week of prayers, we will be still um, supporting the event. And I hope and pray that everyone has learned something that they would carry for the rest of their lives until Jesus comes. And lang po. thank you, everyone. Good evening. Uh, just arrived from communion service. I went to uh, Putinkahoy somewhere in uh, Morning View and then in Mandara to extend our services in uh, our to our brethren. Uh, you know, this is a very exciting event because after two years at least, we have only a communion service and. Uh, some people out there cried because of their, you know, tears of joy because uh, for two years that they, uh, uh, they were not able to experience the communion service. And uh, yes, uh, thank you so much. And uh, what, I can, what I can only say is that I wish and I pray that you won't forget what you have heard, what you have learned from the week of prayer. It is very simple, you know, uh, sermons of Pastor Ron is just very simple, very practical, and uh, it is up to us if we pursue into the, um, into the spirit of being ambassadors. Let me tell you something about the story in the Bible. Um, let me just take this opportunity, Gio, uh, this uh, time. Uh, to tell you something about the story in the Bible found in, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is found in Mark chapter 5. You know the story of a uh, demoniac person, right? Mark chapter 5. Um, in Matthew chapter 8, uh, the record of Matthew is two demoniac persons. Then in, in Mark, there's only one. Uh, um, according to uh, the research, um, Mark only record one, it is because only one is very ferocious, very strong. Uh, that's why Mark only record one. You know what happened to the person after Jesus Christ arrived to that place and so, uh, solved their problems? Um, for some reason, uh, these people in the gatherings um, uh, begged Jesus to depart from this place. And then this demoniac person who had been, uh, who, are, who had been healed from, uh, from his problem, uh, begged to Jesus to come with him. But Jesus Christ said, no. But uh, I'm telling you to go to your friends, neighbors, and uh, your countrymen to tell them what God has done to your life. You see that? And let me tell you something. Uh, that's the first evangelist in, in, in Decapolis. And you know, after that, after that, you know, you, you can say that Jesus Christ, when you look at chapter 5, you can say that Jesus Christ seemingly a failure in his evangelism. But no, there's only one ambassador. There was only one ambassador. Huh? When Jesus Christ said, go to, this, to, your, to your place, to your household, and tell them what God has done to your life. Only one ambassador. Let me tell you something. 
after some time, like two months or three months when Jesus Christ went back to that place, many people welcomed Jesus Christ. All of the region, almost all of the region, welcomed Jesus Christ and follow Jesus Christ. You see that? My friends, um, this is a very, very uh, inspiring story um, in the life of that person. So, what we need to do is to encounter Jesus Christ in every day in our life. And how to encounter Jesus Christ? Through His Word and in prayer. Amen? We can only uh, say to ourselves that we are true ambassadors if we experience Jesus Christ daily by reading the Bible and prayer, Brother Gio. And so, um, this afternoon, this evening, I challenge you once again, those of you who are, who are here, attended this AY program, I challenge you to be a real ambassadors in every, capa in, in, in every capacity that you have. Every capacity that you have. You don't need to be a theologian like um, Christian J or somebody else here. Just be yourself and have a relationship with Jesus Christ. We can all be ambassadors. And uh, yeah, don't forget the principles that we have heard and learned throughout the week of prayer. This would be, yes, uh, as according to Sister Martina, this would be the last week of prayer under the AYM. But the next week of prayer would be very uh, much more meaningful, I should say. This, our previous week, week of prayer are for me were meaningful but uh, it's different level it's different experience it's different you know because uh, to the fact that Mom J Pastor Jaisel is with this week of prayer Pastor Aranja is with this week of prayer and Pastor Francis Gayoba four of us even our senior pastor to be in PIC will be working well with the next week of prayer so my friends don't be disheartened don't, don't lose your you know, your excitement and energy and effort to the next spiritual activities here in AUP. Because we are working together to make this more meaningful, more, you know, we are working uh, the lapses that we have had throughout the week of prayers. We will be working more to be more meaningful and more excitement uh, to the upcoming week of prayers. And uh, <laughs> uh, in the part of AY, nakakalungkot nga lang mga kapatid. Okay, kasi actually, Pastor Jaisel, AYM would be the last batch of AYM. Okay, we, have talk it, uh, we have talked this during our meeting that this would be the last batch of Adventist Youth Ministries Department. And we'd like to, I would like to thank uh, our officers, uh, Martina, Glenn is not here, and the rest of the officers. Uh, Clarice, sino pa ba yung mga officers na nandito? Yes, yeah, si J.O. Sorry, J.O. Hindi <laughs> ko, di ko, nasarap ko na nga eh. Sino pa? Nakatingin kasi ko. Doon si, ano, si, si Leslie. No, Pare-pareho tayo, Les. Uh, uh, youth pastorship is until only until, I don't know if until December or shall I extend my youth pastorship at the end of the semester. But the youth pastorship would also until this, uh, my time. So, I will change my, my services there. Youth pastor from 2018 to 2022. Then I'll be transferring to the associate pastorship. But uh, the activity, the ministry of AY will go on, will be more exciting. And uh, uh, yeah, by God's grace, all things work together for what? For good. And so thank you very much for your support, for your um, uh, untiring support to our AY activities and may God bless each one of us and see you for the next um, uh, for the next uh, event of the Adventist University of the Philippines, especially here in PIC. Okay, so thank you so much, Gio, and I will uh, give back the microphone. So may I now call on Brother Dariel and uh, Brother Andel to lead us as we sing for the last time our appeal song together with the, all of us as we respond to the call of God. 
So all of you now are appeal singers. Exert their efforts and energy 
to make this week of prayer possible. And so, Lord, our success is not according to our strength and not according to our wisdom, but it is, it is in accordance with the divine will and power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we are so grateful because of your guidance to each one of us. We have uh, presented the gospel to throughout the world by uh, uh, virtual presentations. And uh, the message of Pastor Ron Bago, we believe that it would reach to the hearts and minds to other people, not only here in the AOP community, but throughout the world that the technology can reach. By that presentation of the gospel, we believe that each one of us who participated in this event, Father, we pray and we would like to express our gratitude that uh, in this very simple event, we were become part of this ministry. 